Welcome to Windsor Palms Vacation Resort in Kissimmee, Florida. This is a vacation resort that consists of a clubhouse in which you see here. The clubhouse has a pool, a bar, it has a game room, a theater, a gym, and the community itself consists of 300 condominium units as well as 106 townhomes and several single family homes. We're not too sure exactly how many single family homes as we did not do any installation in those, but we're gonna just walk you through briefly um, what we did for the Unify installation in the condominiums and in the clubhouse. These are the condo buildings. There are a total of 10 buildings with each consisting of 30 units for a total of 300 access point installations in the condominium units. The DMARC location for the Windsor Palm is this utility closet outside of each building. We put the equipment in a 6U cabinet consisting of one USG, two 24 port PoE switches, a cloud key, and obviously a power distribution block. We had a fiber uplink brought to us by a local ISP. This was all connected to the 30 access points. We used the two keystone panels to connect all of the access points throughout the building. You'll see that there's two switches. The reason for the two switches is each building is actually divided by in half, 15 on one side and 15 on the other for different addresses. Here you see a quick layout of one of the condos. This is one of the many floor plans, but it's just to give you an idea of where the access point was installed. We were very lucky that the buildings were pre-wired with CAT5. We were able to just install the access points and terminate both ends and complete the mounting in each of the condos. This is a panoramic view taken from a central location showing seven of the 10 buildings. This is just to give you an idea of the layout of these buildings and the general coverage area that we worked on. Now we move back to the clubhouse. We're now looking at the outside part of the clubhouse by the pool area. And as you can see, we decided to use the Unify AC Mesh Pro APs. We went ahead and decided to use these access points uh, to make good use of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz range in order to distribute the load during high volume times. During peak seasons, Windsor Palms can see an excess of 100 people using the outdoor activities area between the pool, volleyball court, tennis court, and so forth. These Unify AC Mesh Pro APs were configured in a mesh network to provide uninterrupted services to guests, particularly because we went ahead and also implemented a captive portal for Windsor Palm guests. And yes, that is Cooper who designed the network. Now we go into a demonstration of the captive portal. This is a screen recording of how the captive portal would look on a telephone when you're trying to log in. The client was very specific in which they wanted the guests to be able to either purchase a voucher at the sundry shop, and you can see that being used here, but they also wanted the option for guests to be able to purchase Wi-Fi time using a credit card. And you'll see a demonstration of that shortly. For the credit card, we decided to utilize Stripe. And the reason for that is that it really was a very easy setup. The management uh, company just had to set up an account with Stripe and from there we went ahead and connected that using the API to the Unify Controller hotspot. 
So it really made it very easy for them to be able to implement the uh, pay by phone as opposed to using the voucher method. Um, here you do see how the credit card option looks like. It does ask for all of your information, but it is important because we want to prevent credit card companies from declining a charge due to not enough information being provided to approve it. The beauty about Ubiquity is that this is already built into the controller, so it makes it extremely easy to implement, especially since it is something that's already built in. The hardware configuration for inside the clubhouse was basically the same, but required a lot different configuration. We still used a standard USG, two switches, and six access points. The three outside access points you've already been shown. There's three interior ones that obviously just provide extra coverage for the clients that may come in, but primarily were for the employees as they move around the different locations in there helping people and customers that are in the different shops that you see here. One of the switches is primarily there to handle the wired connections, your point of sales, your management computers, and so forth. The other one is handling your wireless. Uh, there are two wireless networks on the network. One is for management and employees so they don't have to use the hotspot to log in each day, and the other is for the aforementioned hotspot that you see outside. So here you see part of the equipment for the condo project. Um, funny story with this is that uh, we received two and a half full pallets of equipment. Well, I live in a two-bedroom condo on the second floor. So the truck driver basically dropped the stuff downstairs in one of the parking things and said, have a nice day. So I had to huff up uh, two pallets worth of ubiquity equipment for us to pre-configure before going to the job. Here you can see the equipment that was used for the clubhouse area. And you can see here that we use the Unify AC Mesh Pro APs for the outdoor area of the clubhouse. And as usual, we pre-configured the network, including the hotspot prior to installing all of the equipment on site. It just makes things a lot easier when you're able to pre-configure them prior to the installation. This is an aerial map of the 10 condominium buildings. Uh, this, we put this in here really just so you could get a scale of how large the complex is. Um, the buildings are named after Disney characters. Um, this was done because the resort is in a Disney area. It's also very close or within a few miles of Universal, Disney, SeaWorld. So primarily the people that come here come for the parks and the recreations that are on and around the properties. This is an aerial view of the clubhouse and pool area. We decided to include this just to give you an outside perspective as to where we positioned all of the Unify AC Mesh Pro access points. So now we're going to get into the actual coverage area for each building. You'll see in each of these shots, yes, there's one for each of the 10 buildings, but you're going to see where we place the access points, the heat map, and the topology map for each building. You'll see that it's quite a lot of coverage. Um, the total square meters for the entire complex is 120,000 square meters. The clubhouse is 3,750 square meters. That will be at the end of this section. There's not really a lot much more for me to talk about here, so I'm going to get the funk out.
board yet? Well, we're only halfway there, so there's five more of these to go. If you don't want to sit through all of them, you can just move forward to the 11 minute and 15 second mark and we start talking about the clubhouse. If not, well, then enjoy the music. good you made it to the end um, here is an aerial view of the clubhouse with the access points in place and the heat map we also have a topology here just so you can see how it was all hooked up and then we're going to end out with an equipment list that was used the client was extremely happy with the outcome they were very happy with the ubiquity equipment and we were able to achieve all their goals with that equipment they were so happy, in fact, that they asked us to design a system for the townhomes. That would be 15 more buildings, 106 units. For those, we plan on using the Unify Mesh to complete that project. All right, everyone, we've reached the end. We leave you with some of our information. We really hope you enjoyed watching this video. We really enjoyed creating this network, designing it, implementing it, using the Ubiquity equipment. And we're really proud of the work that we did. So again, thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.